Hey guys, I want to do a follow-up part two about the crazy DoorDash drivers, Uber drivers, and other Uber Eats drivers, and, and other um, delivery um, drivers. And basically, basically this uh, video is just going to go over an article that I found talking about the uh, hazards of um, of delivery drivers and why there there's an increase in accidents. So let's go, let's start right here. Why is there a surge in food delivery driver accidents? The first reason is a rise in the number of food delivery drivers. Food delivery app users increased from 1 billion people in 2019 to 1.4 billion in 2020. Companies like DoorDash dominate in the US market, have more than 1 million food delivery drivers. That number probably double that to be honest with you. It's probably more like two or three million. Due to the higher uptick of food delivery gigs, it is only natural that accidents and other workplace safety issues would increase. But there are other reasons why food delivery drivers are prone to accidents. They include the following. Inexperienced drivers. Many food delivery drivers are young and inexperienced. They are recent graduates, college students, or workers laid off from other industries many don't have many don't have sufficient experience navigating the busy streets they are prone to making errors such as speeding or driving distracted besides there are loose regulations concerning independent contractors thus authorities can hardly stipulate minimum requirements for the rider apps also pressure to delivery to deliver fast. That's what I'm telling you guys. The pressure to deliver deliver fast is the most craziest thing I've ever heard of. Why would you follow that rule? It's dangerous. It's unsafe. It's unnecessary. Let me continue. Besides inexperience, food delivery drivers are often under pressure to deliver orders within a short time. Customer Customers rate drivers based on how fast they receive an order. Delays mean a lower rating for the driver, which is dumb. That's dumb. Because there are a number of factors that can can delay a uh, food order, including preparation at a restaurant, traffic, um, block roads, construction, uh, uh, lost orders, anything can happen. It could result in the suspension of the driver's account, or the driver could be banned from the platform or deactivated. As such, food delivery drivers often speed and break traffic rules to meet their employees' needs. Y'all heard that, right? See? That's what I'm saying. Working long hours. According to Glassdoor.com, food delivery drivers earn between $13 and $17 per hour. That's just about the same or slightly higher than the minimum wage. Many drivers put in long shifts, spending 12 to 14 hours per day, and work six days a week. The motorcycle safety lawyers comment that as a result, the more exhausted a driver is, the more likely they are to make errors while driving, thus causing accidents. See guys, that's what I'm saying. It, it is, it's not that serious. But these young, inexperienced drivers out here, a lot of them female, a lot of them are young road rage males, a lot of females are, are road raging also. They going crazy out here in these streets. They blowing their horn. They flipping you off. I mean, shit they wouldn't do to a man in their face. See, so women get very bold and nasty when they get behind the wheel of a car. Man do too, but a man can't fight. But a woman, what, what, what is she going to do? When she run up on a man, acting in a fool. Only thing she do is call the police, but you start the fight. Anyway, that's, a, that's another story. Concluding remarks. What can food drivers do to enhance safety? There is no doubt that food delivery drivers provide a essential service, especially when the COVID-19 threat persists. As a driver, there are several perils you will face while on duty. Whilst there are several debates about the role regulators and app owners should play to enhance driver safety, these might not have an immediate impact, but you can proactive, be proactive about your safety. One of the most effective steps you can take is to educate yourself. Learn about road safety and how to handle compensation issues in case of a motorcycle injury. Check if your employer has you covered with special insurance for delivery drivers. See, guys. 
I mean, see, guys, I mean, you know, so I'm not going to read the rest of this. So basically, you know, it's your responsibility to make sure that you take care of yourself. You know, it says, although food delivery driver accidents are common, you can reduce the frequency and, and intensity by learning and practicing workplace safety. So that's what I'm saying, guys. You, you got to be smart about this. You can't be a psychopath about it. You got to understand that it's not that serious. And and, 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 and these food apps are manipulating you. They force you to drive under pressure. They force you to, you know, to hustle, 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 hustle. Get out there and get it, get it, get it for three, four dollars, guys. It's not that serious. So I just want to supplement the last video that I made about the crazy Uber and DoorDash drivers out here just being doing crazy stuff, speeding, breaking, breaking every traffic law on the books, getting tickets. It's just not worth it, guys. So anyway, guys, keep your mind clean, keep your life clean, keep your diet clean, keep your car clean, and now go and conquer yourself. Peace.